Welcome to this video on From a Topic to a Researchable Problem. Most researchers when they begin researching have a general idea of the broad topic that they want to research and if you haven't then you find a topic through reading, talking to others, perhaps from your workplace experiences or practice if you're a teacher or current affairs, but you want to find a topic that captures your interest or is an ongoing curiosity for you, something that will keep you interested throughout the duration of the project. Once you have this broad topic, the next step is to turn it into a researchable problem. A researchable problem is very different from a broad topic. If you stay at the topic level, you'll find that your research is unfocused and it's hard to write. So here's an example. I want to do research on students and technology. You can see that students is very broad. What do you mean here? Do you mean university students and technology? What do you mean by technology? Computers, um, software, it could be anything. So you begin by refining this broad topic. I'm interested in middle school students and personal mobile phones in class. So already we've brought it down a level. Now we can see that this is about middle school students. Uh, we're talking about cell phones, personal cell phones, and we're talking about a context of in the classroom. But even having focused it this much, the research can still move in many directions. So we need to keep refining it. So here are a few of the offshoots of this topic that, you know, where you could go with it. I'm interested in middle school students using mobile devices to assist their learning, or how teachers use mobile devices in middle school classrooms for teaching and learning, or how educators feel when they see middle class uh, students using phones in class. So you can see there, there are multiple ways to go with this. And to really focus the topic, you want to identify the problem you want to research. And it has to be articulated as a problem. Middle school students who are learning in a new language find it difficult to process class materials unless they can use their smartphones. The mere presence of a cell phone, even when out of sight and on silent mode, can be undermining. Many educators feel that the presence of phones in the middle school classroom are detrimental to learning. But is the answer a no phone policy? So here you can see those are problems now. So that's what you want to do, is you want to identify the research problem because the topic becomes much more focused. Uh, and it, any topic can have multiple research problems. But really what you do is you begin to specify and refine the level, um, here in this case, the level of education, the precise technology, the exact prob problem, and where that um, problem is taking place. By identifying the researchable problem, you, can, you allow yourself to focus, but it really is one of the most difficult parts of the research conceptualization process. And this is because problems are always complex and interlinked. And I suggest beginning by writing down the problem here is. That will help you focus on the problem itself. So here are some tips in identifying research problems. I would suggest that you write as many problems related to your topic as you can think of. So keep a journal for a week and write down the topics as they come to you, or the problems as they come to you. And then go through them one by one and work out what interests you the most. Have a look at your key concepts. Highlight them, refine them as much as you can. Reduce them, reduce them until they're very specific. Try to work out a title, a working title. It may not be your, your final title but one that contains your key concepts and indicates the problem, and that will help you focus. And it's always helpful to ensure that there is published research available that addresses the problem you've identified. So the key point of this video is that it's really important to conceptualize your research well, because your writing is only clear and fo focused when your thinking is clear and focused. And the way into this is to simplify until you are clear about the components of your research. Refine your topic until it becomes a researchable problem that is very specific. And that's what gives you focus. 
once you have these components clear in your head and they all align together you can then bring complexity back in again without getting lost it's the most difficult part of the research process so spend time here well i hope you found this video helpful uh, and best of luck in refining your topic into a researchable problem